Hey. Hi. Hey, we're oh, we're coming uh, near near. <laughs> we're coming near coming the. Coming into me. <laughs> we're coming near the end of our half marathon at Spicewood Vineyards. We told you, we had a vendetta. Well, stick around. We'll let you know how it turns out. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell you what that was and how it turns out. Hey, we just finished uh, our half marathon at... Uh, Spicewood Vineyards. Spicewood Vineyards. So here's a little story, a little history, a little running running history yeah. for us. So, uh, <clears throat> this is big. This is real big. This is big. So, a long, long, long time ago, six years ago, six years actually, ago. Yes. it was uh, 2013, I was training for the Austin Half Marathon, which is actually in February, and based on my experience with my last half marathon that I trained for, which was two years prior to that, which was also the Austin Half Marathon, basically what happened that time was I ran the half marathon, and then I didn't run for like six months. So I trained, and I got in a condition, and I got to this crazy point, and then I like let all of that progress die, right? So when I decided to start running again, and I um, signed up for the Austin Half Marathon again, and that would have been 2004, the 2014 race, I was like, you know what? to sign up for some other races so that I can, you know, since I'm getting up to this point anyway, let's force myself to run several other races. So I ran that year, I ran back to back months, four months in a row of half marathons. I did one in Shiner, I did this one in Spicewood, I did the 3M in Austin, and then I did, did the Austin half marathon in February. So four months in a row. So this was the second one of those, that series of four, which it was my third half marathon ever. So, day of the race comes, and we have this, like, freak cold front blow through. And we live in Texas. I know how to run in 40 degree weather. I know what to dress to run in 40 degree weather. I even know how to dress to run in 30 degree weather. Well, what I learned this day was that I have no clue how to dress to run in 20 degree weather. So it was uh, 24 degrees um, with a 13 degree wind chill. The water was frozen at the ice stops. Water stops. Uh, but, sorry, the ice, they were ice stops. They were ice stops. The water was frozen at the water stops. Um, it was, and it was just so windy and off. It was just, it was the worst. It was the worst running experience. And I was so proud of her. I wasn't running at the time. He was not. I was there. My and sweet I boyfriend yeah. came with me, yeah. cheered me on. And I was surprised they didn't cancel it because so cold. it was, it was horrifically cold. Right. And a lot of people were actually dropping out. They were coming back early complaining about the frigid temperature. It was, it was awful. Uh, but so, when I it. finished, um, I finished and I was, um, I was shaking so bad. Like, I never warmed up. And it takes, it took me like two hours and 45 minutes to run that after yeah. I never warmed up. Yeah. Ever. So I got back and I'm just, I'm shaking uncontrollably. Yeah. And um, again, my sweet boyfriend offers me a cup of hot cocoa, which seems perfect, right? That's exactly what I needed. I was frozen. It like hit a trampoline in my stomach and like 30 minutes later as we're on our drive home. And by the way, this was at a vineyard. I didn't even get to have any wine. I was feeling yeah, so terrible. Yeah, it, it, was, was, it was like not my best day. My, not my best running day. So we had planned after the after the run to go to our favorite uh, food. Here we are. We are so close. We're four weeks away. Four weeks to marry. 
stayed afterwards. We had we wine. We had wine. We had beer. And wine. we had some food. And food. It was provided. None of which happened last time. Yeah, right. So <laughs> we, we did all right. We feel pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the weather was great. Boy, yeah. those hills were... Anyway, else. watch the footage. Stick around. Remember, always an adventure with you.